Welcome everyone, Legends here, and today guys I am bringing you a video on how to get blurred background on your face cams within Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I did a video on this on Sony Vegas Pro 13, I think it was. I used to use that as an editing software back then, uh, but then I just had the problem of it always was crashing on me like non-stop. You see it on Twitter, everybody always says it, so I made the switch over to Premiere Pro, and ever since then I've enjoyed it. I love editing in Premiere Pro, way faster, render times, everything. I just love everything about Adobe Premiere Pro, and the one hard thing thing I had to do to figure out was how to get blurred backgrounds on my face cams when I record a video including a face cam obviously this video does not have one so if you guys are wondering how to how to get a blurred background in Adobe Premiere Pro on your face cams or anything you can use it the same way then you came to the right place and you clicked on the right video so I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna get right into it as you can see on screen guys I have my Premiere Pro open I use I have this like little template set up so when I open up like a file it already has my intro and all that like my, my uh, social shout outs like my lower thirds type of things and basically I have like a template so I don't have to keep like putting in my intro and everything and whatnot so that's how I like to start my videos I already have a face cam in here it's actually my latest video top five advertisement tricks if you guys haven't checked it out be sure to check it out uh, I don't know why it's upside down that's always it always does that it usually does that after I compress it give me a sec perfect there we go as you can see I have my face cam up right there fixed it so it's not upside down the background right here it's it's not it's not it's not blurred I, I record if you guys don't know I record my face cam with a uh, old cell phone of mine yes it was an old phone as you can see there's no no blurriness it's just a clear you can see my behind me my room there's my bed my clothes the book bag and let's just get right into it I like to go over to effects panel if you know how to use Premiere Pro this isn't a video on how to use Premiere Pro this is how to get blurred background on your face cams within Premiere Pro if you want to want me to bring a video on how to use it how to like do like a basic edit I can just let me know in the comment section below go to your effects panel you click the little search bar and you look up gaussian blur uh, one thing i did realize is you have to have like the newest version of premiere pro because if you have the older versions you can't do it this way you'll see why i'll explain why once i get to that point but you wouldn't be able to the list is going to pop down as you can see right here gaussian blur you're going to click and you're going to drag that onto your face cam now it's going to come up in this little effects controls tab if you're not on it you might be on this one just hit the effects control tab and it'll pop up and then you see gaussian blur with the motion of opacity the timing map from all that nice little things are right there you want to go under Gaussian blur and this is where you're gonna need the newest version I believe one of the newest versions of Premiere Pro because then if you don't then you want to have these three little boxes right here. that's the problem I ran into you got these little three options uh, obviously you click the pen tool exactly like Sony Vegas Pro tutorial and then you just go over to your video I like to zoom mine out just so I can get like my entire face you know my entire picture in one little frame I can kind of like I've been doing this long enough to kind of see where my shoulders are and everything and the one thing I like about Adobe Premiere I can get closer to my body than Sony Vegas and Sony Vegas I kind of had to like had to come out a little bit off my body because if I didn't then it wouldn't it wouldn't blur too good like the outer edges of my face and my body would be blurred as well and that's why I like Adobe Premiere Pro because they have like this smooth transitioning into the blur and into the background which is really nice so once you click the little pen tool you see mask one then you can come over here to your face cam you can zoom in by doing this like fit I usually like to keep mine on 25 then I will literally just look out mask out my body my shoulder blades and like I said with Adobe Premiere Pro um, you can actually get really really close to your body like right on the edge and it won't really mess up too much and I'll show you why in a little bit Okay, as you can see, I have my body, my face, whatever you want to call it, masked out in the video for my face cam. What I like to do next, I like to go to the mask feather type, which is right right here on my screen. Yep, you see it right there, mask feather type. I like to put that using like 150, 250, depending if it's a full face cam. If it's usually like a, like a, a full screen face cam, then I would put like at 250, but I like to put it at 150. And as you can tell what happened over here, you see the little dotted lines on each side of of the actual line I mask that's how it's gonna transition out into the grade how it's gonna fade into the grade which I really like a lot because that means it's not gonna be exactly right on the edge of my mask so it won't look too ugly like my face wouldn't be blurred or nothing like the edges of my face wouldn't it just there's like a nice little fade into the uh, blur which I really like and then I hit the inverted because if you don't if you don't hit this inverted button if you don't check this button then it'll be at your actual face so you want to hit inverted so it can get everything around outside of the mask and then for a blur 
blurriness I usually like to keep it on a 15 then I hit enter and then as you can tell right here I now let me click off of it I now have a blurred background on my videos now here's it without it as you can see and with the outer edges of my body isn't blurred it's literally like perfectly faded out which I really like and Sony Vegas you kind of had to like mask a little bit outward outer words from your body you would see that if you watch that tutorial that is how I get my blurred backgrounds in my face cams in Adobe Premiere Pro I used to use Sony Vegas I get I had the problem of crashing all the time so I switched over hopefully I explained this clearly for you guys I kind of feel like I was talking a little bit too fast but I think it'll be smooth I think I explained it pretty well Hopefully this helped a lot of people. I don't know how many people use Adobe Premiere. Now, I know a lot of people use Sony Vegas, and I did make that tutorial once again. Link will be in the description. Check it out on my channel. Hopefully this helped anybody who had questions, because it took me forever trying to figure out this little tutorial. When I was trying to figure it out, like, could not find no tutorial on how to do this. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you for the support on my channels you give me. I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God. If I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know.